We're at the midway point of the MLB season in 2023, and there's a bunch of teams that have drastically improved from last season. We're gonna be talking about teams that are grabbing people's attention for either winning streaks they went on, exciting players. This may not necessarily be the top teams in baseball overall. Like for example, the Tampa Bay Rays are not on this list. They're the best team in baseball. They're good almost every year. So they're not really a surprise that they're this good. So we're gonna be talking about a couple different teams here. So with that out of the way, here are the top five most surprising teams in baseball so far this season. Let's get into it. At number five, we have the Cincinnati Reds. Last year, the Reds tied for the third worst record in the league, winning just 62 games and then began 2023 in rough shape as they were just 19 and 27. After that, they would soon call up top prospect Ellie De La Cruz, who's already hit for the cycle. That's the first time a Reds player has done that since 1989. Then they went on to win 12 games in a row, which was the second longest winning streak of the season, second only to the Rays. And now they're battling for the NL Central lead with the Brewers going back and forth with them. Matt McClain and Spencer Steer are two young players that are really fun. Of course, you have Jonathan India. They recently just got back Joey Votto, who's injected some fun into this team. You know, Joey Votto is known for his antics. He's certainly going to have a lot of fun this year. Overall, this has been an enjoyable Reds team to watch so far this year. They're playing inspired baseball at the right time. Now, let's go to number four. At number four, it's the Miami Marlins. The Marlins are shockingly pretty good. Last year, the Marlins were straight up bad, just 69 and 93. And they didn't make too many moves in the offseason, except for one guy who we'll talk about in a moment. They have a negative run differential. 2022 Cy Young Sandy Alcantara is having a below average season for his standard. But for some reason, this team just wins baseball games. This is a usual mediocre fourth place team, but they have a solid team ERA. And they have this guy by the name of Luis Arise that you need to know. Arise could potentially hit 400 this season. Currently, he's been up and down right over 400 and then under 400. I'll put his current hitting numbers right up on the screen. But to kind of illustrate what Arise has been doing and how special it is, the last qualified hitter to hit over 400 in a season was 1941. Ted Williams hit 406. So 1941, that's a long time ago. Could he do it? He definitely has the ability to. This guy hits all over the field. He's not gonna hit too many home runs, but his nickname in Spanish is La Regadera, which essentially translates to the sprinkler. He sprinkles hits all throughout the field. He goes to left field, right field, up the middle. He will go anywhere. This guy absolutely rakes. He rarely ever walks, but also, he rarely ever strikes out. So he's a tough out to get, a tough hitter to face. He is the little engine that could. He is powering the Marlins to a really nice start this season. Next up, number three. At number three, we're going out to the NL West, the Arizona Diamondbacks. In 2022, the Diamondbacks were a below average 74 and 88 and finished fourth in the NL West. Now, halfway through the year, they lead a division with the Dodgers, Giants, and Padres who were picked ahead of them in the beginning of the season. The main reason being, a lot of people didn't think the Diamondbacks, with plenty of young talent waiting for their shot, would be this good this early. Speaking of young talent, that's led by Corbin Carroll, who's only 22, but already a top outfielder in the game. This dude's got speed for days, he's got power to all fields, He's an electric outfielder. Former Bishop Eustace grad Zach Gallen has had a big season on the mound. Gattel Marte has had a resurgence at the plate. He's had a really nice year. And then Christian Walker hits absolute bombs. The Diamondbacks are way ahead of schedule and they're gonna be a force for years to come. Now, on to number two. At number two, man, baseball is back in Baltimore. We've got the Baltimore Orioles. It's great to see an awesome park like Camden Yards have fun. They've got the splash zone. Everyone's having a good time. The O's are playing great baseball. Good for them. I'm really happy for the O's fans. Shout out Joe Ketchin, passionate O's fan down there in Baltimore. I hope you're having a fun year. Let's go O's! Let's go O's! In 2022, the Orioles were trending in the right direction. So I don't think it's a total shock that they're good, but I don't think people would have predicted that they'd have the third best record in the league. Unfortunately, they're still second in their division. The AL East is one of, if not the best divisions in baseball. They sit behind, of course, the number one team in baseball, the Tampa Bay Rays. But that does not discredit the season the Orioles have been having so far. Former number one overall pick Adley Rutschman has impressed. 
Gunnar Henderson is a good young player that has a bright future. I think Austin Hayes is one of the most underrated players this season. He's having a terrific year. On the pitching side, Tyler Wells, the six foot eight right-hander, has been one of their better guys on the mound. He's got a really impressive whip. The O's are really impressing so far, but I think that there's one team that has surprised people even more. So at number one, we have the Texas Rangers. The Rangers have struggled and struggled and struggled some more. They've been pretty bad for a while. Their last winning season, 2016, and last year was complete rock bottom. They won just 68 games. In the offseason, they went out and hired longtime Giants manager Bruce Bochy, who came out of retirement to manage this team. And in the beginning of the season, a lot of people projected the Rangers to be about a 500 team, win around 81 games. They signed ace Jacob deGrom, but then deGrom quickly was shut down for the rest of the season with Tommy John surgery for the second time in his career. But that didn't hurt the Rangers, not one bit. And a big reason because of that has been the bats on this offense. The bats are absolutely booming in Texas. Adolis Garcia and Josh Young have been solid. Jonah Heim has been one of the best hitting catchers in baseball. And the tandem of Corey Seager and Marcus Semien has been lethal up the middle. From the pitching side, Nathan Avaldi has been electric and John Gray has picked it up too. This Rangers team leads the AL West with the defending World Series champion Houston Astros trailing them. They have one of the best records in the league, a top offense, and quality pitching. It's something I don't think a lot of people expected down in Texas. And it's been a fun year so far, and the hope is that this team can continue its run that it's been on. So that's my list. Let me know what yours is down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this type of content. If you want to see more of these style of videos, leave a like. That is the best way to show your support on the channel. Also, if you're new or a returning viewer and aren't subscribed, click that red subscribe button down below. We're trying to hit 700 subscribers on the channel. Let me know if you'd like to see a top five most disappointing teams so far in 2023. I can certainly make that happen. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate the support as always, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.